Samathya Fernando from Sri Lanka. As a Generation Equality Youth Task Force representative of the co-group, together with my fellow Youth Task Force members, we wish you all a happy International Women's Day. Generation Equality Forum and Campaign is, is a path-breaking effort to bring together governments, private sector, civil society, youth, and all change makers from across the world to make concrete and ambitious efforts to achieve gender equality. The world may have been put in shock because of the pandemic, putting most transactions and routines to a halt, but Vauji, GBV, they didn't take a pause. It continues. And what's worse is it increased. It grew. As an organization focused on youth empowerment, WEGS has opened its highest leadership positions for girls as young as 16 years old. This gives young girls a chance to interact and work together with women of other generations with different views but similar end goals. When these young women go into leadership roles outside of guiding, they are equipped with the skills to lead effectively. We have to stop trying to produce robots who only know how to take instructions but can't think for themselves. We have to stop trying to shut down little kids just because e adults have to protect their ego. Stop being intimidated by kids like us. We are an investment, not an expense. Do not underestimate our potential just because we are considered young. This is not just about covering women's issues, but it's about making sure content is balanced across gender lines and respect diversity. Decision makers and governments create opportunities for us as girls and women to share our experiences with you, listen to our recommendations and collaborate with us. Yet media does not cover all of that. I mean, raising their voices and making a change. As I mentioned before, governments have to make sure that discussions are brought up to the public through the media. But then I step outside my house and I'm afraid to walk alone at night. I see men facing harassment and abuse being brushed aside. Could it be that we are setting goals that are too ambitious or that the lack of accountability for these huge institutions is setting us up for failure? Because frankly, there is nothing political about a basic human rights. So let's have these dis difficult discussions so that 26 years from now, we will have something to show for ourselves. Don't ask us to be patient anymore. The wait is over. We need to see an equal world now, not in another hundred years. However uncomfortable our voices will be, we will speak out. And we demand for what we believe in, equality for all. I am Generation Equality.